right uh, down in Monk's Bay. It's early July. I'm trying to find a black eared or pied wheat ear female that uh, is photographed in Shanklin, which is kind of that way, kind of northeast of us. Uh, no sign of it on the beach, it's actually photographed on, but uh, in Shanklin. But it was heading south apparently, so it's most likely to cover up the coast in this sort of direction. So, lovely habitat here, just uh, barely covered at all by any birders. Um, quite good for sea watching, just on the shore here. Birds seem to come a bit closer to the coast here. Who knows what's appeared in these gardens in the past, over the years. Anybody wants to buy a nice birding, sea watching cottage? Good deck up there. So I suppose if I was a rare weeter along here, I'd, you know, there's all these people, I'd, I'd be hanging out on the rocks here, as the northern weeters often do. I don't think I'll say much and let's actually find this wheat here. those rocks over there there's no sign of it on there yeah the, uh, great spotted cuckoo a couple of months ago got along I think it got quite this far but it was uh, just beyond that little hill over there it's a kind of willow tamarisky sort of slope it's always really good for migrants in spring and autumn. Particularly good for sedge warblers for some reason. They love to sing in the willows and bramble here. And uh, reed warblers as well. to check this once the tide goes out because uh, the sort of wheat here is quite like the seaweed the tide's right out and they can get a bit further down into the, into the mud here on the beach. Um, the answer is no. There's lots of black eddy gulls. along here a little way because the uh, kind of concrete revetment and rocky breakwaters here are often quite good for northern wheat ears. You never know. Always forget to check the goals. It's good for 
Bonaparte or something here to me. Just black headed at the moment. Distinct lack of where wheat is along here. church pottery which is there used to be a nice cafe down here but that's gone that was in the 90s good for serins kind of from here on to kind of wheelers bay event there kind of annual along this section had one female so far this year but uh last few years it's been one or two which had a pair just up behind the pottery there in the 90s, hung around in a little bit of landslip, feeding on wheat seeds. Had to fed bread here, in obvious place really. So just walk up here a little bit more, but I think I might have dipped this wheat here. I don't think it's along here anywhere. Never know though. section for Glanville fritillary butterflies along here. It's kind of a parched south facing cliff face. It's really good uh, kind of broken chalk grass and really good for invertebrates, not surprisingly. around this little corner there's a wheelers bay in the distance and the uh, great spotted cuckoo was uh, feeding all the way along here on the cliff face going for butterfly caterpillars um, yeah I'm not going to go any further the tides well in so there's not, not any beach here for a wheat here to hang out on so don't think it's going to be along this section unless it's feeding on the cliff face somewhere. Maybe it's back at Shangling and I have no phone reception here, so I wouldn't know. So, anyway, hey yo, another dip. 